वेलकम गाइस डू यू नो व्हाट इज पैकेजेस इन जावा पैकेजेस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक इन जावा बिकॉज ऑलमोस्ट इन एवरी प्रोजेक्ट इन एवरी मॉड्यूल वी आर गोइंग टू डिप्लॉय वी हैव टू डिप्लॉय इन द फॉर्म ऑफ पैकेजेस विदाउट पैकेजेस वी कैन नॉट यूज रेडीमेड क्लासेस एंड विदाउट यूजिंग रेडीमेड क्लासेस इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल टू डेवलप एनी जावा प्रोग्राम एंड दैट इज वॉट द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ पैकेज In this session, we are going to understand what is package in detail. So please watch this video till the end and try to understand what is packages and how it is important for Java programming. Let us try to understand what is package. Now we can understand package with the help of four points. to understand package we should know the answers of four question number 1 what is package or what is packages what are packages number 2 why we need package what is the reason we have to use package what are the benefits of using packages and then how to create our own packages programmatically what are the keywords what are the programming techniques we have to use to create the packages and finally how to use packages already we are using packages since our first program but we are not aware that we are using package there are some packages uh, those are by default available even in your simple java program without which program execution is not possible we will try to understand this concept later but first let us try to understand the first question what is package now the package is nothing but a collection for dot class file whenever we are compiling a program any java program we are going to generate a byte code or we can call it as a dot class file for each class in your java program a separate dot class file will be generated same thing is applicable for interface for each interface there will be a separate dot class files and to store these dot class files dot class files are java files and we have to use a separate storage for them and that is known as a package so package is a collection for dot class files from operating system point of view the package is nothing but a folder in which we are going to store some files now these files are java programs or dot class files that is from java point of view but from operating system point of view it is just a folder or you can call it as a directory even when you are trying to view your package uh, from operating system you can view like a directory or you can view like a folder from programming point of view it is known as a package from operating system point of view it is just a folder now we can recognize these packages programmatically and so that it is possible to use import and package name so your java program can recognize packages and we can import files from packages or we can import sub packages from uh, packages so it is possible to import a sim single class or two classes three classes or it is also possible to import all classes from that uh, package so creating package means creating a folder that contains java files dot class files now let us try to understand what is the content of package now package contains three different things number one it is it contains classes okay every package contains classes it may also contain interface and third one a package can contain sub package now sub package is a package inside another package so you cannot directly import sub package to import a sub package you have to give the full path so uh, java is the one package which contains one more sub package that is called as uh, io input output so instead of using only io we have to call it as a java.io so uh, your parent package has to be imported or you have to give the full path while using now import statement is not compulsory in java it is for making your class 
local so if you want to use any class from io package you have to either give the full path java dot io dot and the class name or at the top of program you can say import java dot io dot star now you can use all classes of io package directly java is a main package and io is a sub package now we can create n number of sub package or we can create hierarchy with the help of this concept and because of the packages and sub packages we can organize our classes dot class files in a proper way so that using them will be more easy and effective and in less time we can write program so uh, this is about the content of package one more thing that we have to understand there are two types of packages so types of packages the first one is a built in package now this is a ready made package that already we are using just in the previous example i have given java is a main package that is by default available for a programmer this is a ready made package and it is already created such packages are known as built in packages ready made packages now it contains ready made classes built in package contains built in classes and those classes are ready to use directly import them and use them in every java program there are some classes required for basic things and they are available in lang package so there is one more sub package in java that is lang so by default these lang package is imported in every java program and that's why it is not necessary for programmer to import this sub package so it is hidden import java.lang.star so for every java program all classes in lang package are local and we can use them directly in exception handling program we have seen one class called as exception now this is ready made class now this is available in java.lang and therefore it is not necessary to import it it is by default available in every java program so the classes those are required for java language itself they are available in java.lang package and this package is by default imported all other packages if you are going to use classes from those package it's a responsibility of programmer to import classes from those package and we have to write it at the top of program so in program we can import java.io.star java.math.star now these are ready made packages from where we can import ready made classes java is a master package available in your uh, development kit and uh, you have to import all sub package you have to study those sub package and you have to import them as and when required only one package is by default imported and that is java.lang the second type of a package is a customized package or you can call it as a user defined package now what is user defined package these this is the package which is created by programmer so user defined packages are created by programmers as uh, output so when you are going to develop a project you have to create a main package that will contain your all project files and inside that main package you can create sub packages to put your dot class files in a proper manner so uh, you can keep your class files in organized manner with the help of sub packages so this is also you can say as a benefit of uh, packages you can keep your all files in well organized manner so that it will be very easy and faster in execution as well as uh, programming so there are two types of packages built in package user defined package so this is all about what is package i hope all of you have understand the concept of package now so package is the a storage for your java files and its a main purpose is to keep your files in well organi organized manner and it will be easy to use for others also in next session we are going to see what are benefits of using packages in detail if you have got any value from this video please subscribe my channel and also recommend others you have to put your comment what you understood from this session 
ओके वॉट आर द थिंग्स दैट दो टेक अवे फ्रॉम दिस सेशन यू हैव टू पुट इन योर कमेंट एंड योर कमेंट विल एनकरेज मी टू गिव यू मोर कंटेंट थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वॉचिंग दिस सेशन